this National Flannel Day edition of RHS News. I'm Maria Salas. And I'm Megan Fielding. This week we have a sports report, a weather report, and a report from our ASB president. But before we get to that, it's time for our featured segment. Who do you guys think is going to win Super Bowl 57? Eagles, Chiefs. Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. I'm a longtime Eagles fan. Well, Alexis says the Eagles, so I'm just going to go with that. I'll say the Eagles. Kansas City Chiefs. The Eagles. Uh, Chiefs. Stephen Curry or LeBron James for NFL MVP? Curry. Why? He's just better, bro. Chiefs. Why? Because. Are you a Chiefs fan? Yeah. For how long? Just like last year. Can you name two players? Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. Why is it called the Super Bowl? Uh, because it's the greatest bowl there is. Uh, I'd say the mom of, of those two brothers that are playing, she's going to win no matter what happens. She's the winner. Chiefs. Will Shakira be at the Super Bowl? No, it's Rihanna. She's making her comeback. Do you know who this handsome hunk is? Oh, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, who's Joe Burrow? Oh, he's a quarterback. Um, yeah, in kind of a chatty kind of way. Doesn't he look like a Chad? He definitely looks like a Chad. Chad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Patrick Mahomes? Um, yeah, I mean, I know him, obviously. So you think Patrick Mahomes cuter? No. No, definitely not. I think so. Okay. All right. Who do you think is going to win Super Bowl 57? I don't care about Super Bowl 57. Why? Um, because it's not going to be popular and you're going to boo me. Are you ready? I am a Niner fan in the Sea of Seahawks. Now I don't even care. Who should I want to win? The Eagles. Um, okay, I want the Eagles. Thank you to everyone in that. Now over to sports. Thanks, guys. Girls Wrestling took home their first ever district championship this weekend. We, we congratulate them and wish them luck as they continue. Boys Wrestling also found success in their district championship. Good luck to them as they continue. Boys Wrestling lost their game on Tuesday, so they play tonight against Heidi at 6 o'clock in the RHC. Make sure to come support them. Girls Basketball lost their game last night, which means they play Saturday here. We don't know against who yet at the time of this recording. Be sure to check the Nice Athletic page for information on that. Oh, Weatherman Seth. Weatherman Seth here. Today's high is about 48 degrees, which is great. Um, next week is going to be pretty similar with about 51 degrees. Now, my, my little script says nothing too special, but I think that is special because every day is special. Great opportunities for great times. You know what I mean? I'm Weatherman Seth. Have a great day. Thank you both for your reports. Before we check out today's closing story, we need to make some reminders and announcements. Don't forget to buy your yearbook for $50 at the athletic office or scan the QR code. Today's dance is the 24th. It is a sweetheart's dance. Make sure to come matching with your date or your friends. Tickets are $10 and can be bought in the athletic office or the door. We'd like to give a special shout out to our RMS robotics team, the Power Rangers, for winning last week's state competition and making it to the upcoming national competition. Good luck to them. On March 1st, we are holding a blood drive. Students 16 or older are allowed to donate, but if you are younger than 18, you need to give your parent permission form to the office. Give blood, save lives. That's all for this week's announcements. For today's main story, it's time for our yearly state of the high school address. Madam Principal, Mr. Vice Principal, esteemed office secretaries, members of the student council, my fellow RHS Knights. I stand here at this totally official podium to deliver the first ever State of the High School address. I am, of course, your ASB president, Maria Salas Moreno. Today is the 10th day of the second month of the year of our Lord, 2023. Y'all are listening to this boring speech as freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, but most importantly, as RHS Knights. We have had a big year here at RHS, and we still have a lot of stuff to come. So far this year, we have had 
had had a had great success with our sporting programs, with our volleyball team making it to districts for the first time in 13 years. <laughs> Soccer making it to districts as well, both cross country team, teams, teams having state placers. Hold on, I've lost my spot. And the football team winning their 11th state championship title. The winter sports season is currently still happening with boys and girls basketball and wrestling in various parts of their postseason. We wish them good luck in any events moving forward, as well as dance, who has stayed in March. The, the homecoming week was an amazing show of school spirit from everyone involved. The entire week was packed full of fun. The competitive spirit th throughout the week was electric. In the end, the class of 2023 picked up their second straight homecoming championship. In the month of December, we enjoyed a host of fun activities, including Christmas movie night, a Christmas spirit week, and the kickoff of our winter sports season. All of those activities were a huge success and enjoyed by an and enjoyed by and enjoyed by everyone involved <laughs> recently we held our first ever bingo night at rhs miss barrett hosted it and it was a night that if you missed out you probably regretted it we are excited as we are already planning our next one Look for more information about that in the coming months. <laughs> Looking forward later this month is our Sadie Sweethearts dance put on by our sophomore class. This dance is scheduled for the 24th of February. Tickets are on sale now for $10 in the athletic office? Yes. In the athletic office. Yes, Madam President. Also on the horizons is the return of the wildly popular glow dance. Many students reported that this was the highlight of their year last year. We are already in the early stages of planning this year's event to be even better than last year's. Make sure to not miss any information about that coming in the next few months. <laughs> the junior class is also hard at work in the beginning stages of planning prom. Once again, make sure to pay attention for the details in that event, for that event coming in the next months. Of course. Students, we're almost there. We're already in the back half of the year as we draw towards the end of the year. Stay diligent to your classes. Knott's country, let's ride. Woo! Well, that's all for our show this week. We hope you enjoyed it. For RHS News, I'm Maria Salas. And I'm Anchor 2. We hope to see you next time.